I've got nothing, guys. I... Nothing. I... Hey there, guys. What's up? It's Autobot Mike 18 here with another movie review. <sighs> Trying to relax. I had a very frustrating day at the movies. Not because anyone bothered me or anything, because of the movie I actually saw. So anyway, guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing a uh, new buddy cop comedy. Comedy is in air quotes. You'll understand why I put it in air quotes soon. But uh, yeah, I saw this movie today. Let's be cops. <laughs> I went to the theater and I, um, a part of me thought that you know, maybe, it was, maybe this was a good idea. Maybe it was a good idea to go see Let's Be Cops in the movies. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I First time I watched the trailer, I'm like, the movie looks terrible. Then I'm not going to pay to see that. Why would I go see that? All right, then I it's one of those trailers where I rewatched and I said, you know what? Maybe there'll be something redeemable about it. I told myself, you know what? It's not going to be a great movie, but I'll pay for it. And, you know, as it got closer to me going to see the movie, I said, you know what? It's probably not going to be that great, but maybe there's something redeemable about it. The, the two leads look awesome. Maybe they'll make it good. Maybe they'll make it enjoyable. You know, I'll probably have flaws with it, but I could still give it a decent review. So that's what I said going into the movie. And then I saw it. And now $10 went down the drain. Anyway, guys, let's get into my uh, review. Uh, the first thing I'm going to start talking about is the plot. Um, also, yeah, I'm not going to make this review that long because uh, the filmmakers and the writers who, who worked on this movie didn't put that much time and effort into their movie, so I'm not going to put that much time and effort into my review. And I'll just take a dump on the movie. That's what I'll do. So anyway, guys, Let's Be Cops has a uh, pretty generic uh, synopsis. Two down-on-their-luck losers, uh, played by Jake Johnson and Damon Wayans Jr. They, uh, yeah, they live very boring lives. One of them's a video game, a failed video game designer. The other one has no life, and um, they decide to dress up as cops while attending a costume party. And um, as they uh, as they dress up and they go to the party, and then after the party, people start treating them differently. You know, girls start approaching them and, you know, like, flirting with them, giving them signals, and they soon begin to realize that people think that they're actual cops because of the uniforms they're wearing. And the, co the uniforms are authentic, actual police uniforms. And, um... So they start getting, you know, a little bit more respect, and they start to sort of take advantage of their position. They buy a squad car on eBay because, yeah, you can you can buy stuff like that on eBay. Yeah, I'm sure you can. I'm going to actually look that up after I finish filming this. Um, so they buy a squad car, and they actually start cruising around and res responding to calls because they actually are starting to go around and act like they're cops. And, of course, they get involved with real crimes, and a real serious drug gang or something? That's, yeah, I think that's, there, there's some gang in this movie. Um, yeah, that's, the, yeah. And also shady detectives that may be working with gangs, all right? Yeah, they get involved with all that stuff. And of course, they're like, you know what? We, we can handle this. L -l Let's actually do something about this. Let's stop these bad guys. We can do it. We're, even though we're dressed like cops. So that's what they say, and that, that's, that's your movie, all right? That's Let's Be Cops. Guys, you know what? I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I'm just going to come out and frankly say it. This movie sucks. Okay? There. I said it. Just... Wow. <laughs> wow, I walked into this movie thinking it wasn't going to be this bad. Man, was I wrong. You know what? There's a character at one point in the movie who does meth, and then he starts, like, tripping, you know, you know he's saying all these weird things. I think that's what happened to me, and I just don't remember it. I think I did meth, and I made the decision while I was high to go see this movie, and now after having seen the movie, I don't even remember that, okay? Yeah, because some part of me said, maybe there's, there'll be something good about this movie. Something will be redeemable about this movie. But there's actually nothing redeemable about Let's Be Cops. Guys, I'm going to come out and say, Let's Be Cops is by far the worst film of 2014 thus far, and, yeah, it's worse than Sharknado 2 because Sharknado 2 knows it's it's bad, all right? And it wants to be bad. This movie is trying to be good, trying to be serious, but it fails on nearly every single level and that there is nothing redeemable about this movie. 
This is one of the most annoying movies I have This is the most annoying movie I've seen all year. By the way, guys, this could turn into a rant. So if I title it like that, don't be scared. It, it's because it deserves it. This is one of the most annoying films of the year. And that I literally started to get angry. I started to frown, shake my head, bristle my teeth as I watched this movie. I entertained the idea of leaving, but I said no. Why would I do that? I paid money to see this. I never walk out of a movie. But my oh my guys, did this movie start to infuriate me. This failed, okay? This is the type of movie, and I've said this recently with TMNT and uh, Sex Tape. This is the type of movie that could have been good. It could have been. It could have been a good buddy cop comedy. You know, a forgettable end of the summer buddy cop comedy with a few laughs here and there, good performances. It could have been all that, but it's not. It ends up failing on nearly every single level imaginable, guys. Let's be cops. Please don't see this movie. It is so bad. Okay. I mean, I checked the tomato meter before I went out to go see the movie, and it said 11%, and I said, wow, this movie can't be that bad, all right? How bad is it, all right? That's right, guys. I'm sorry, but... Wow! This movie sucks. All right, guys, let's get into the cast real quick, because honestly, Damon Waynes Jr. and Jake Johnson, they are the best part about this movie. And that's it. That is the only redeemable quality I can give this movie is that Jake Johnson and Damon Wayans Jr., they tried, okay? They tried to make something of this movie. They tried to give it something, give it an edge, make it funny. They had very good chemistry with one another, but that is all. That is it. Solid, decent chemistry with each other. They had a fun relationship, but that is it. That is all I can give this movie. Other than that, this movie sucks, okay? Um, their characters, I mean, they tried to make the, the script funny. They tried to do something with it. But their characters, they can't help the fact that their characters are so dumbly written. And the writing just isn't even cohesive. It just doesn't make sense. Because Jake Johnson's character is the type of character who's like, Yeah, let's do this. This will be a good idea. Let's go on this call. Let's go on that call. We're not endangering our own lives. But they're just so stupid. And I get, I get what the story was trying to say. These two guys are down on their luck. They, they want to feel important. They want to actually matter and do something of merit so they decide to act like cops and that's where they actually feel important and respected okay because usually they're not respected all right I, I get what the movie's trying to say with that but their characters are just so dumbly written you just don't even care that they're trying to feel important you don't connect with them or give a shit about them i mean ugh. i mean how could jake johnson's character think this is a good idea okay how and damon wayne jr's character is the most uncohesive character the writing on his character is so uncohesive it doesn't mingle it doesn't make sense because one minute his character is like this is a bad idea i don't think we should do this the next minute he's like no, you know what i'll do it why not you know something will happen he'll be like nope and then another thing will happen all right, all right let's do it I'll, I'll 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 go along with this i'll still be a cop even though i have no experience whatsoever and i'm endangering my own life his character and he, his character does that literally the whole movie and it's starting to get on my nerves okay rob riggle is in this movie Rob Riggle is funny in everything he's in. He's given at least one funny line because he's generally a supporting character in all of his movies. Never really has the lead. He was, he, and he's played a cop in a majority of his movies. The Hangover, the other guys, um, and he's, he's wasted in this movie. Rob frickin' Riggle is wasted in this movie. I love him in 21 Jump Street, in 22 Jump Street, in The Hangover, in Step Brothers, in, um... What did I say? Oh, the other guys. He is so good in that. He's given at least one funny line. He had one funny moment in The Hangover. He was in one scene. This movie, he has nothing. He is so wasted, and that disgusted me to see that they sucked Rob Riggle into this movie. Wow. Nina Dobry from The Vampire Diaries is also in this movie, even though she is so good to look at. She can't even save this movie, okay, with her good looks. She can't. Why is her character even there? Why? Okay? She literally shows up when it's only important in the movie. Ugh. That's all I can say. Even the supporting actors who had a few lines of dialogue to say sucked in this movie, guys. Wow. That's all I'm going to say about Let's Be Cops, guys. That, that's all I have for this movie. I'm going to get into my rating, and as you guys can tell, 
I've started, I've joined the rant territory of this review, and I'm gonna finish it. Um, I just, I don't even want to make this video that long. I just don't, I don't care about this movie, okay? Here's the thing. I went into the movie thinking, there's got to be something redeemable about it. And the only good thing about this movie is the chemistry between the two leads. They are enjoying, they are enjoyable presences on the screen, but... Uh, you know what, maybe this, this movie will help their careers in some way, because they are funny guys, even though they're given a terrible uh, work to, uh, to, to, to work with. They're given a terrible script to work with, alright? I mean, I'm so glad they didn't cast, like, well-known actors in this. They, they, they cast up-and-coming actors that you've seen in minor roles before. And, I don't know, maybe they'll go somewhere. I don't know. But, you know what, guys, I, I'm done. I don't even care about this movie. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. I'm done. F. Give it an F. Please don't see this movie. I wasted 10 of my hard-earned dollars on this movie when I could have gone to see Guardians of the Galaxy again. Go, go see that movie again this weekend. Give that movie more money. Go give Dawn of the Planet of the Apes more money if it's still in your theater. I would even say go see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles over this movie because at least the turtles are funny in that movie, all right? This movie has nearly nothing redeemable. I hated everything about this movie nearly, and I, I couldn't wait for it to end. It's one of those movies where it's 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 an hour and 40 minutes, which is about the length a, a comedy should be. But because this movie isn't funny, it's so annoying, it got under my skin and started to really piss me off, okay? I It felt like this movie was like two and a half hours because I couldn't wait for it to end. I was fidgeting in my seat. I was shaking my head. I wanted it to end. The second act of this movie, they introduce this character who looks like Little Wayne, and they even make note of that in the movie, all right? And I, I just wanted to leave, all right? I, I literally zoned out about that point in the movie, all right? These are all the things I'm getting, the bad, bad things about this movie, okay? It's just, <laughs> they failed. They effed up a buddy cop comedy in that this movie isn't even funny. That's ultimately what got to me. I laughed twice, guys, in the movie, in one scene. One, the characters did something, then they did something else, and I laughed. That's it. And that was early on in the movie. The whole rest of the movie, no laughs whatsoever. Nothing from me. Not even a smirk, a smile. I sat there with this blank, upset facial expression, and I couldn't wait until this movie ended. And as soon as the credits ended, I left. I'm like, done. I am done. I had so little patience with this movie because, and my biggest problem with this movie, it's marketed as a comedy, yet it's not a comedy in that you do not laugh at this movie, it's not funny, the situation they got themselves into these characters is not funny, they are so dumb, they're cliched, the, 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 sh the shit they do is predictable as hell, I don't care about them at all. I mean, it's... <laughs> there's, a, there's a twist in the, in the third act, and I'm like, oh, who cares? Alright, I was done. My, 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 my brain checked out before I did. My brain got up and left before I actually got up and left at the end of the credits. Alright guys, this is just an absolutely terrible, annoying, headache-inducing movie where with um, absolutely terrible script. This movie would have worked as a drama, okay? Because it's it's so tonally inconsistent. You know, it, it, it wants to be so serious and make this situation seem serious. The whole third act is very over-the-top serious, you know? I'm like, why are you taking this movie so seriously? Because the first two acts, you didn't even take seriously. You made them, you tried to make them funny, and it was just bad comedy writing. Then the second half has, and then the third act has no laughs whatsoever at all. The second half is just failed attempts at making jokes. The third act, n no, nothing. No jokes at all because they went for the ser they went for the serious tone and I'm like this movie should have just been made an, an action drama film where these two losers uh, become fake cops and they actually get involved in real stuff and then boom that that should have been the movie okay either do that type of movie or make this movie funny and that's what the writers failed to do and that's why I hated this movie I go to a comedy to laugh and I laughed twice and that's it. Alright, the movie's filled with dis there's a disgusting scene in it. I mean, it's just... I'm done, guys. 5 out of 10. Please do not pay your hard-earned money.
to watch this movie. Go see anything else in the theater this weekend. Stay home and rent movies or watch movies. I wouldn't even recommend seeing this movie on cable. It's literally that annoying and hard to watch at times. And it feels so overly long. And it, it not only is it painful, but it feels that long. It makes it even more painful, okay? My most painful experience of the theater this year is definitely Let's Be Cops. That's all I have to say, guys. I am done. I just, I don't even care. You're going to forget about this movie. I can't even remember the f the first 30 minutes. All right, I'm done. All right, guys, 5 out of 10, F. Please don't see this movie. I, I beg you, please don't give this movie any money. That's all I have to say about Let's Be Cops. I mean, <laughs> wow, guys. I, I can't believe I ranted that much. It's been a while, but I hope you guys enjoyed the rant. But seriously, don't see this movie. It doesn't deserve your money. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you did see Let's Be Cops before you read the bad reviews, what did you think about it? Please tell me it sucked. Please. Let me know down below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.